A portion of Savannah's past will forever be captured in the paintings of the late William Pleasant. With the stroke of a brush, he saved the life and landmarks of what was once a bustling hub in Savannah's African-American community. One time, West Broad Street was like being on 125th Street in New York on a Sunday night, because in those days, Savannah was wide open. There are those who tell the story of a street that never slept. When I got that train that night, and walked out to the Union Station and walked out in the West at 3 o'clock in the morning and the people in the street just like that and the lights and the big ladder had a fruit stand right across the street. The big old, all the lights, all the fruit. I looked at I said, Ken, I said, what kind of place is this? Of bustling business. Oh, it was unreal. I mean, you had nothing but black businesses. And music that mesmerized the masses. This was a good place to hang. You could play day or night. They had jam sessions. They have memories. Uh, it features Yakum and Yakum store, which is on MLK. Paintings passed down by his father, the late artist William Pleasant Jr., who often depicted life along this once vibrant strip. When MLK Boulevard was West Broad Street, the cornerstone of Savannah's African-American community. Some of his paintings were done in the 1940s, 50s, and cis. Landmarks that have long since disappeared, like Robin's Department Store and Dave's Soda Shop. Casualties, some say, of urban renewal and integration. But William Pleasant found a way to keep them alive his canvas capturing the people, places, and moments in time. All of these memories were fresh, and um, he would continuously render them uh, on canvas. And, and as you can see in the image, there are lots and lots of people here. Um, that was just a normal day on West Broad Street. It was filled with people. He hoped would be. One of the things that my father liked to show in a lot of his paintings, um, which was controversial at the time, which was um, integration and uh, they had neck bones, three pounds for 25 cents. <laughs> During the 1960s, my father was very much involved with the civil rights movement. And it's through his father's work that Jalal gets inspiration. Um, my father taught me basically everything that he knows and or knew. I've sort of taken that and integrated into my own personal. The younger Pleasant is also an accomplished artist. My grandfather was a graphic artist also, uh, just as my father was, and um, various signs and murals that my dad did can still be seen in Savannah. My father, David, uh, grandfather David Carter was a sculptor, and uh, his work was exhibited um, at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, in the 1950s. Memories through the paintings his father passed along. Thanks for allowing us to share these stories of the coastal empire and low country's black history journey with you this evening. To learn more, go to WSAV.com keyword black history. For WSAV, I'm Kim Gusby. Join WSAV in celebrating black history. He documented life along what was once the cornerstone of Savannah's African-American community. And through these paintings captured landmarks that have long disappeared from MLK Boulevard when it was West Broad Street. But William Pleasant Jr. didn't just paint the past, he brought to life his vision of an integrated future. Learn more at WSAV.com keyword black history. Proudly brought to you by Savannah Hyundai.